Hey, yo, what is up, Thrill Seekers? Today, I am here at the construction site for Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger for another construction update. These are gonna be a lot more consistent um, and a lot more detailed now that, as you can see, it has gone vertical. So let's just do a quick overview of all of the progress that we have seen over the past couple weeks. First of all, obviously, Dr. Diabolical is now vertical. We see the full construction of the station area and the final brake run. Um, just some notable things here. Uh, we do see that they are building the transfer shed, um, which is going to be, of course, just to the left of the final hold brake. We see that they are starting to put in the mechanism in order to drop out the floor. Remember, this will be a floorless coaster car meaning the floor will drop out from under you as you are getting ready to dispatch. You can see all of those systems. We can try to see them, but for some reason the camera is super blurry. Over here we have the brake run. Um, this is at least the majority of the brake run. I believe there may be a little bit of a trim section. Maybe. Actually, I, th I think this is it. Um, so this, uh, this roller coaster has the ability of running three trains at a time. They are going to actually be having four trains for this, just so that if something happens with one of the trains, um, this is a year-round park, so they will have to do annual maintenance, things along those lines. They don't need to sacrifice one of those trains in order to do it, and they can basically run three trains at all times throughout the year which is huge, um, especially for those of you who know Iron Rattler only has two trains and is able to run two trains. So if they need to do maintenance on one of the trains, it's on one train ops and super slow. Speaking of Iron Rattler, they are getting another train for that ride coming very soon. Um, theoretically, it should get here around March um, and immediately as that comes in, they're going to replace it with one of the other trains, get that annual maintenance out of the way, and hopefully we won't have as many issues with Iron Rattler running one train. Anyways, back to Dr. Diabolical here. It is insane the amount of work that they have done in the last two weeks. If you guys didn't know, they started this vertical construction around Wednesday, about two weeks ago. I don't remember the date, um, but Wednesday about two weeks ago. I wasn't able to make it to the park last weekend. I had a dance convention, super fun, but wasn't here. Um, so I wasn't really able to see that, but basically all they had done is build this little structure um, and just starting the construction of the transfer shed. Um, so all in the past week, they have done all of this, which is a huge sign of what is to come. Jeffrey Siebert has put out kind of a little tentative schedule of when we can see the construction progress um, continuing and what we can see over the next couple weeks in terms of the construction progress. He has said that the station area and the brake run is basically complete, which is awesome and insane that it went up this fast. Next is going to be the lift hill. It's kind of going to drop off over here and go off kind of at this diagonal, just on this side of Lone Star Lil's Amphitheater. Super excited to see that go up. That's going to be a huge step in the construction process. The lift hill should go up in about a week, which again is insane. They're building a 150 foot tall structure in a week. That's crazy. From there, once they have topped off the lift hill, they're going to build the drop. The drop is going to basically go right down in front of this building right over here. Again, the drop should be about a week in order to construct. So by February 14th, he says that they will start to work on topping off the part between the drop and the lift hill, right? It does have like a little turn and then there's a hold brake section that they have to put in. All of that part doesn't actually have a support that is holding it. So its support structure is this big long spine right here and it relies on the supports from the drop and the lift hill in order to keep it up. Therefore, they build the lift hill and then they build the drop and then they connect them if that makes sense. So by the week of February 14th, we should see the highest portion of Dr. Diabolical put in. That's insane. 
Alrighty guys, now I'm going to move over to that side of Boomerang and give you guys just another angle of this masterpiece. Six and as we pass the Flash Pass kiosk, coming over here to get another view of the construction. This is the angle of which my friend took a picture that I posted on my Instagram story. And it is a good angle. We can definitely see a lot of the brake run. So all of these fins that you can see here, by the way, I'm sorry, my camera kind of sucks. Like every time I try to zoom in, it like gets all wavy. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Um, I think, yeah, the, <laughs> the camera is like making a buzzing sound. Maybe I should get that checked out, but it's okay for now. Uh, anyways, all of these fins that you can see on the track, those are going to be magnetic brakes. They work by creating what's called an eddy current, which is basically a magnetic field with the two fins on the bottom of each train. Um, and that, tra uh, that eddy current basically repels the current of the two permanent magnets on the train, um, slowing the train down. So that's kind of how those work. Uh, as the train enters the brake run section here, you can see that these couple, yeah, um, so you can see that these fins are a little bit higher up. Hopefully that, I'm assuming that that means that they will slow the train down very immensely. And then as you come over here, these fins are going to be lower to the ground, kind of allowing the train to go a little bit faster through this section of brake run. and. From the looks of it, they may also be adjustable, meaning they can be brought down. Um, so after the train makes it through this uh, section of brake run here and enters the second section that is a little bit lower down, if the train is empty or running slow, something like that, where it can, it has already slowed down enough, um, then these uh, brakes can actually lower, allowing the train to simply coast through. Um, from here, this catwalk here does have, um, you can see right here, there is a magnetic brake, um, but right next to it, kind of right here, I wish I could zoom in more and like actually show you guys, but once I get too zoomed in, <laughs> my camera starts shaking. Um, but uh, basically, there is a friction brake right there. Friction brakes are actually capable of fully stopping the train as magnetic brakes are not, um, therefore indicating that that is a place where the train can stop. So if the operators are going kind of slow, um, then a train can be in the station on that first section of brake run, as well as on this last section of brake run right here. I have to say something that I really like about three train operations, as we see on Superman, for example, is it really does motivate us, the ride operators, to go a lot faster um, as we're loading and unloading. Plus, if you guys didn't know, um, Dr. Diabolical will have lockers that you do have to put your stuff in. These lockers, theoretically, should be free and are going to be kind of in the middle of the queue line. Think something like Twisted Timbers or Steel Vengeance or Velocicoaster, for example. That's kind of going to be the system that they're going to have here. This is going to work awesome because you're not going to have to worry about your stuff being stolen. And also, us ride operators don't have to wait for you to go all the way to the other side to put your stuff down, then all the way back to sit in your seat. All you have to do once those gates open is just sit down, pull down on that restraint, and it should make the loading process go so, so much faster. So definitely this ride will have pretty good throughput. And finally, coming over to get our nice master shot of the entire construction site and on this side of things, we see a whole bunch of new footers being put in. As you can see by all of these big concrete slabs here. Um, and there are even more of them that are continuing to be put in all around. Um, you can see that they have definitely started. Ooh, uh, seems like I don't really know what they're doing right here. Um, I was gonna say maybe they're starting to make the pathway in the queue line. You can see that they've completely dug up that road over there um, to start preparing to make that little plaza that this entrance is going to be on. So I'm assuming. And my phone ran out of battery. Um, 
Again, I'm sorry for like the weird clicking in the microphone. It's literally the camera shuddering. Again, I should probably get that checked out. But anyways, uh, what I was saying is it may be them preparing uh, the plaza area for which the entrance is going to be on over here. Uh, you can see that they've kind of dug up the road um, and they are starting to prepare to pour some concrete over there. Uh, the whole queue line, a majority of it, is basically going to be where that rock pile is right over there. Um, and then, hmm, I say that, but I don't really know. <laughs> it's gonna be somewhere. Um, uh, but I definitely do know that inside of this big building there will be a nice theming experience, um, kind of similar to Joker's Funhouse type of idea. So I'm definitely super excited to see the construction of this develop. Live till right here in the next week. From there, the drop right here after that, and then they're gonna connect them, and we should see the topping off of the ride by the end of February, which is crazy to think about. Look for this opening somewhere around June. Um, I know for a fact that they are going to be having previews of this ride during Roller Coaster Rodeo, which is going to be June 10th, 11th, and 12th. Um, I believe. Uh, so at the very least by then, um, it will either be in previews or open to the public. So look at this ride being completely done, tested by then. And yeah, I'm super, super excited for this thing. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this construction update. If you did, subscribe because I will be making more of these every single week. And I will see you guys all next time. Peace out.